Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drive video. This time it is the Yellowbird series. Uh, the Road to the Yellowbird. This is all 10 races, 9 ceramics and the all exciting Yellowbird. Um, <clears throat> just looking at what's on offer for a replay here from the first one. Um, <clears throat> please don't forget to hit them like and subscribe buttons guys. Uh, follow me for more videos. Um, and good luck with the Yellowbird series. It's not the easiest. <clears throat> so we start here with a twisty road. A Monaco G-Force test. Waterfront drag. Uh, the, these first ones are quite easy. In fact, they're all quite easy apart from round five, if I'm honest. As long as you've got the cars. Um, and round five, if you're not sure, if, you, if you've not seen it yet, you will see it very soon. Okay, so that is round one. Now, this has took me a good month, if not longer, to do this final one. Um, and I'm happy to see, obviously, I'm at the end of it now. So it will be good to see what Renome will be used for uh, from now on. Um, it is 300 Renome per race as well. Uh, so it's not uh, a cheap event. So you need to make sure you're right before you go in. Uh, five USA cars are required for this one. <clears throat> So just uh, make sure you're prepared and four of them are super rare. Now that the pattern goes all the way through for the next six or seven where you have um, <clears throat> four super rare and then another car of your choice. But they are all from um, the same country. So make sure you are prepared. Do not waste your renown points because they are 300 per race. So if not, you know, if you're good, then you maybe yeah, you can get 300 renown in, in three nights. <clears throat> other night, other weeks, it might take a week just to earn 300 renown. So just be aware of that. Um, you'll see that I don't get a good ceramic at all. I don't think out of all these. It'll be a surprise to me, to be fair, as I'll rewatch all this back. So, race three. <clears throat> Again, 300 are known, so don't waste it. Um, and this one is French cars times five and a super rare performance times four. Uh, with one of them being dirt. So the fifth car I've chose is the Bugatti, but there is other cars there for you to choose from. The Alaska only just won, but it was it was enough for the win. And if not, I'd have made enough points back with that. But it's just whether or not you've got a Bugatti or or something else French that's going to win a decent amount of points in a drag. <clears throat> Everything else is a breeze. no problems so that is round three complete and another ceramic and a lotus esprit so nothing good so far round four so this is japanese cars times five with Super rare performance being one of them. Um, 
you, again, you need you need some decent standard tyre cars for this one. Um, I threw them in pretty quick, but you've got twisty rows, and the rest of them are all wet. I think wet twisty city streets. So the Subaru Legacy does beat it just. Uh, this is a mixed one, so that's some rally car. You could even use the uh, Suzuki Swift rally car. Japanese isn't my strongest hand. This was the one I was really worried about, the Japanese events. Um, I really, really do struggle. But that's another, that's uh, round four complete. Now round five is obviously next. Um, and this is the one that everyone struggles about, uh, struggles with. Um, I got very lucky um, getting the car I've got for it. So round five, German cars time five, super rare performance times four. So the... 917 is upgraded to 11. Um, you need to earn 150 points to clear the first one because there is no super rare car that can beat the Megan in a, in a slalom. So you need to have either the 917. Or the 962C, I think it is. Well, the other, the other one that you can pull from a pack. Um, or you need uh, a prize legendary. But that is round five. Um, and yes, you will need a very, very decent car. The the 917 I've got won't beat its one star at uh, one upgrade. It has to be either a, a 121 or a 363 or a, a 633 211, whichever way you like it. Um, it has to be that to pass that. <clears throat> so the next one. Round six is all British cars again for super rare. Um, one of your choice. So, the one I chose was this Jag standard tyres, medium ride height. And the XJ gets the win on there as well. Round five. Another Lotus. Now if you haven't got them, then there is other ones you can choose. Um, with fairly decent handling. So here we go, another ceramic. And another bit of disappointment. So, round seven. This is Italian, so you need four super rares and one of your choice. The RQ does allow a super supercar, so... And we all know there's plenty of Italian supercars in the game now. And if you're at this stage, then you shouldn't really have too much of a problem. You should be, as long as you, if you can pass round five, then you shouldn't really have a problem passing uh, any other stage. That Lambo is actually set up three three two, so it wins even on with that. Don't need to say anything about the Bugatti. And this is obviously in the rain, so you'd need four wheel drive or something with standard tyres. Uh, 
And we'll move on to yet another disappointing ceramic. Tiny guys, ceramic look at the minute is zero. But hey, let's move on to round eight. So ultra rare performance times five is required for eight, nine and ten. And the ultra rare performance, you know, we've all got these sort of cars now. Um, if you're at this stage, like I said in the previous round, if you're at this sort of stage, you've got these sort of cars. Uh, the twisty cars you need to, to win. And the drag cars as well. And that just obliterates it. Okay, so that is round eight complete. And boom, another Corvette ZR2. It's about the tenth one I've had recently. Round nine. <clears throat> so ultra rare performance times five again. Uh, you've got one mixed track on this one, one city streets medium. Um, now, this Lamborghini does just win. My my bum was like a rabbit's nose. I should have chose a better car, um, but it did the job, and it's set up um, three three two. So it does just win. Literally, just wins. I thought I was losing another three hundred Renault there. Um, now luckily I passed all these first time and that's only due to the fact that I had a look at what cars were in it first and I'd already heard about round 5 before so just look how close uh, this one's fine but look how close it comes down to the wire um, on race 5 uh, and this is because the Lambo actually, the MRA is not fantastic on it. And like that Merc. But most importantly, I got the win. And that's round nine complete. Uh, more disappointment. Double, double yellow and not uh, both on level 40. And here we go, round 10. The final one. Ready for the yellow bird. Again, nothing out of the ordinary here. These are cars that pretty much we should all have now or close to there's the escort rally car or even the Porsche rally car that you could use or even the the, uh, the Colorado that will do the trick okay, there's other cars if you haven't got the Evo there is other cars I just chose the Evo because I like it I went with the Metropolis simply because their Metropolis wasn't fully upgraded and mine is. So I haven't even got to worry about that. That's a win. And the, uh, we all know this Lotus is uh, pretty rapid, but I could have just used the rough as well. Anyway, here we go. Three stars. And here it comes. The Yellow Bird. RQ78, four seconds to 60 and 84 handling. So this is every one of them three starred. A nice big tick on the road to Yellowbird. Let's just go and have a look at where it is. There it is. Let's add it to the garage and go and lock it. 
first and foremost before anything else and we go and lock it there we go and yeah so 213 top speed 4 0 to 60 and 84 handling <clears throat> beautiful absolutely beautiful well that's the end of the video guys please hit them like and subscribe buttons and i will see you next time for another video you take care